Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up online store with Square. So, before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. Let's get started. So, how do you exactly set up your online store here with Square? Well, setting up your online store here or getting started on setting up your store is kind of fairly easy. You just need to follow the on-screen steps because in this case, Square actually makes it a lot easier for you. So first things first is you want to go to your Squarespace account. So go to account at squarespace.com, log in into your account. Now, by the way, if you haven't created your account, you should see an option here that signs up. But in this case, in your dashboard, let's go ahead and click on the create website at the top right here. And it should open up a new tab, which in this case is going to ask you a few details on the website you are currently building. So it's going to ask you what's your site about. With this, in this case, this will actually help you guide or they will be able to guide you specifically what you need on Squarespace. So you want to go to search your topics and maybe I am um, busy building a, uh, let's just say online store. Let's just type in online store. And from here, it's going to load up a few things. So we have a music store, shopping, convenience stores, department stores. So let's just say general here. Let's go and choose shopping. And from here, let's go and click on next. Now, it's going to ask you what do you want to do your, with your website. Now, let's go ahead and maybe uh, we are or we want to basically sell uh, products. You could also sell memberships if you want to, collect donations, get appointments, uh, showcase work expertise. But for now, we are good with just sell products. Let's go and click on next. It's going to ask you if you either want to browse templates or build this with AI. So let's go and choose browse templates here. And from here, you could choose one of the following options. So as you can see, there are going to be templates that you could choose from from uh, building your website. So maybe I want to use a very simple one. So let's go ahead and choose one of the following options here. So maybe I want to select this one. Let's go ahead and choose this. Now let's go ahead and click on the start with this design. By the way, you can change the color of your website just in case if you want a specific color or pattern here. As you can see right now, there are going to be uh, options. You can also view the demo site here just in case you're not sure yet or you're not uh, guaranteed or you're not sure if you want to really want this. And you can change the view for this one. Like if you want to see the mobile version, as you can see right now, you can go and click on the either desktop or mobile version at the top right of your screen. Now, in this case, uh, how do we exactly um, use uh, or how do we use this? Let's go and click on start with this design. So let's go and click on it. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we want to go ahead and follow the on-screen steps here. Now, it's going to ask you what is going to be the site name for this one. So, maybe I want to say this is going to be a shopping uh, website. So, let's just say this is the name. Let's go and click on continue. Now, it's going to say everything you need to sell anything. So, physical products, bookable appointments, and clients and access to content. Let's go and click continue here. Drive traffic, click on continue, and you also have the manage your business. Let's go, let's go and click on get started. Now, in here, you should be able to do one, or in this case, a few things here. So, first is we have our website. So, in our website here, you can edit your website, change or access your pages, view your sales, or even view your assets. So, if you go to website here, you have the edit button at the top left, and you could also change the view. So, if you want to view your mobile version or your desktop version. Now, let's go and click on edit here. And in here, once you click on edit, you'll be able to edit your actual website, which is something really helpful, especially if you want to edit your header, edit your section or add sections if you want to. So you can choose one of the following options. So you have save sections and add a section or blank section here. So in this case, you could basically uh, add blocks. So for example, you can add like a text, newsletter, letter, scrolling, embed, codes, markdown. So maybe I want to say I want to add a code here. And let's go ahead and resize this appropriately. And from here, you could go ahead and add whatever you want as well. Again, so you could go ahead and add a video here. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, reposition them. So the great about this one is you can drag them around your website. So in this case, in whatever way you want them de uh, designed. So you could go ahead and edit this one. You can choose your video here. So the max for a video is 30 minutes. So yeah, 
So depending on what element you uh, choose or add here, you'll have the option to edit them. But there are going to be some restrictions like you can for this one or for text, you can only edit the code and as well as the uh, source. Now for videos, you can change the video itself. You can even, so as you can see, you can also align it vertically if you want to, center or align it on the bottom. Now you could also pin this one, you could also create a duplicate just in case, and in this case, add or control your content. Now let's go ahead and click on save at the top left here to save our changes. And once we click on the mobile view here, it should adopt our website. As you can see, the elements is automatically adopted into our website. So let's go and click on exit at top left. Now, if you choose pages here, it actually allows you to see or view the pages that you currently have. So if you want to add a new page, just click on add new page or the plus button here. You can even access the other pages here just in case if you want to edit them. Again, you just click on edit at the top left here to edit that specific uh, page. Now, you can also use or edit your TLTs here like for, for, for page checkout and lock screen. You can also edit the website tools here like the custom CSS if you want to add them, code injection, announcement bar, promotional pop-up, and mobile information bar. So let's go ahead and go back here. Now, you have the option to change the styles as, uh, as well, like the color, the heading formatting, the colors here, the buttons, as you can see, the form, so you can change them. So let's go and click on exit. Now, for this one, you can also edit your assets. So assets contains the files, so images as well as videos. Now, if you go to product and services, this will give you the option to add products into your website. So you can add a service, a download here, or physical product. Let's go and click on physical product. Now from here, let's go ahead and choose our store. Let's go ahead and choose our shop here. Click on continue. And from here, you can add your product. So for example, this is going to be our test product. And from here, let's go ahead and add, uh, click on add image. You can upload file here and choose whatever photo you want to use. So for example, I want to use this one. Click on open. And from here, let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, you can make this unlimited stock or just uh, specify how many. So also the price here. So as an example, let's go and add a uh, price for this one. And let's say this is going to be unlimited. Let's go and click on add more details. Now from here, you can add a description, your price, your uh, if you want to make this on sale, the uh, SKU, the uh, option to add variants, the fulfillment option here. So you can set up your fulfillment profiles here. So in this case, those are going to be the uh, shipping. And also organizations like, for example, categories and tags. So selling tools like a feature product if you want to make this one. Maybe the products to this product here and add, also add product reviews. So once you're done, just make sure to click on save at the top right here. So obviously there are going to be a lot of things that you can do here. But once you're done, as you can see, we've just added our product. Now, you can also go to orders here to view your orders. Go to discounts if you want to create discounts. And also, you could go ahead and go back. Let's go back one uh, bit here. So you also have the content and membership. So if you want to add courses and those, so we won't be needing this since we are a store building a store here. It also adds the uh, scheduling, some donations if you want to, and even add marketing. So email marketing uh, campaigns, like if you want to uh, promote your store. Also have the marketing tools here, like for example, promotion pop up, announcement bar, SEO space extension, and URL builder. Also have your contacts here your analytics just in case and also view your finance if you want like for example the payment uh, status of your orders that you have right now now if you again if you want to access the setup guide here you go and click on setup guide it's top left as you can see it's going to give you steps on what you need to do next like for example connect your payment processor here and the fulfillment method here it's like you're shipping but yeah so in this case that's about it so those are the basics on setting up your store here for square but in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.